Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for being here and helping me to meet my first subscriber count goal in my subscriber appreciation giveaway. If you haven't checked that out yet, please do. I still have three boxes to send out as we hit some additional subscriber count goals. But today I've got some mystery mail from Fortunately Inspired. So Fortunately Inspired is a subscription box that's really geared towards female entrepreneurs and what she calls boss babes. Um, I do kind of have my own business as an editor, but I don't have any employees. But I do think this is a box that any woman can really uh, appreciate in terms of feeling inspired and empowered. It is, I think, $36.95 per month, and then I think there's an additional like $7 or $8 in shipping. Obviously, if you do a longer subscription, it's going to be a little bit less expensive. But basically, I've been watching them for a while on Instagram, and so I responded to a story a few weeks ago where she was kind of asking for some positive affirmations, and mine was one that I kind of use as a mantra that I tell myself all the time, which is just like, you got this, um, which I think is just like quick simple to the point and something that we all kind of need to hear sometimes like you've got this you've got the strength you've got the skills just trust and believe and one foot in front of the other so she said that she really liked that and so she wanted to see if I would receive some mystery mail so who doesn't want some mystery mail I certainly do so I was very happy to get this cute pink mailer in my box the other day so we're just gonna open it up see what it is I did see all of their spoilers for last month's so I'm guessing this is probably just like a fortunately inspired like light, like a few of the items from that box, but we'll see as we get into it. So I'm just gonna pull everything out and put it in front of me to make sure I've got everything out of that mailer to see if there's any sort of like product sheet or anything. So there is, let's see, there is a little uh, business card that just says fortunately inspired and it says thank you, enjoy our mystery mailer. So it looks like this is something that they do enough that they have a card that's printed for it so definitely check them out over on instagram and maybe get involved be engaged in their social media and then there's a bigger postcard that just has the affirmation of the month on the front of it and it says my mind feels calm and serene so that is a nice affirmation for sure and then here on the back it's got like a meditation so it says it's a 21 day meditation challenge. So maybe that's something that they explained more in their full box, but it's just like a short little, little meditation. So maybe if this video stays pretty short, I will actually read this aloud so you can have a little guided meditation for your day. But let's look at some of the items that we got in this little mailer. Now, the first thing I am seeing, this is, a. Um, it's an air freshener for your car, and this is actually uh, by Jacqueline Whitney and Thompson Ferrier, New York, which I have seen before. I've gotten one of these in my Huga box, but this one is different, so I'm excited. So it's just very simple. It's just like kind of a beige color with script on one side and then the other. And so on one side, the side that's facing me, it says, be who you need to be. And then on the other side, it says, don't be who they need you to be. So great, great little reminder not to sort of be trying to fit yourself into anyone else's mold. And the one that I had before is still working. So I'm going to save it. That's why I didn't open it up to show it to you because I want to keep the scent nice and fresh to use in my car. When I actually get to use my car again, I haven't been, <laughs> been driving very many places lately. So the next item I'm seeing comes in this little velvet pouch. So we'll open it up and it's just got some plastic it's a really really cute pen so it's kind of in like a rose gold with some polka dots and then this giant jewel here at the end so it almost looks like a like an engagement or a bride's pen It'd be a cute like guest book pen and then it just is one of those ones that screws at the bottom and opens up I usually use um, gel ink pens but this one is awfully cute and it doesn't feel like it's too heavy on top so it might actually be useful to use so the next next thing I'm seeing are these looks like there's two of them two of the same I'll show you one up close little vinyl stickers so it looks like the back of a denim jacket and it says you're limited edition so you are special you are unique you are enough I love that sentiment um, I have a little sticker collection I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with my stickers if any of you have suggestions if you guys have sticker collections let me know what you do with them but Pretty good quality. This would look, of course, great on your water bottle, but I only have so many um, water bottles and I've got a lot of stickers on them already. Two more items. 
The big item that's in there is this little ball cap and it's in a kind of baby pink and it says don't grow up and it is embroidered on there. It does look like I have to snip a few ends to just kind of clean up the finishing. Now it's a cute ball cap. If you guys know me, I'm not really into pink. I just I'm not a pink girl even though I'm kind of wearing some salmon colors right now. I have quite a few baseball caps just because I do go to a lot of baseball games and I do do a lot of walks where I need that extra bit of shade but this is probably something that I'll pass on to someone else who can appreciate it but I do like the little saying because even though you can be the boss, even though you can be a empowered woman, it's also good to have a sense of playfulness in your life so I do like that idea for sure. That would be like a great hat to wear to Disneyland obviously which you guys know I love Disneyland. Um, um, now I'm almost like rethinking it like what if I could like attach some little ears I don't know if I'm feeling that crafty but that would be a good idea and a good hat to wear to Disneyland for sure and the last item I am seeing looks like a little bath or body product it is by Care Brew it's a moisturizing two-in-one body butter and coffee scrub in the scent of coconut rum mm -hmm. so that smells or sounds yummy I haven't actually opened it up I probably won't open it up just because I have so many different things going on but you can kind of see that text texture in there that makes it a scrub. Almost looks like batter for something yummy. It probably smells like it too. It says after showering rub a handful of the scrub in a circular motion on your skin. Rinse off and pat with a dry towel. So it's just moisturizing but it is something that you use in the shower and actually rinse off versus leaving on your body um, as a lotion. So super awesome. I Like I said, I did see the spoilers. This is a lot of the stuff that was in their last box, like the hat, for example. I think there was this and maybe another Bath or Body product, and then maybe a cuff. I think there was like a really pretty little jewelry piece, but again, this was so generous and so unexpected and so kind of Fortunately Inspired to send this mailer out to me. I really, really, truly appreciate it, you guys. I hope that you are thriving in this crazy time that we're living in. I hope that all of you that are business owners are also thriving or at least surviving um, and trusting that you are enough and trusting that you are unique and special and amazing. So let me see if I can find that meditation card and I will say goodbye to those of you who are just here to see what I got in my mystery mail but otherwise I'll maybe leave a tam time stamp below in the description and if you'd like to just do this little meditation with me stay on for a couple more minutes. Other than that have a fantastic day and hopefully I'll see you soon in my next unboxing. So if you are staying here for this little guided meditation that has been given to us by Fortunately Inspired, I encourage you to take a nice tall seat. Maybe close your eyes and take a few slow deep breaths in and out. Maybe open mouth exhales just to clear out some space to clear your mind. Take a deep breath, breathing in through the nose, breathing out through the mouth. Breathing in, feeling the lungs expanding. Breathing out, feeling a sense of letting go. Breathing in to feel the body getting fuller. Breathing out to feel the release of any tension. Breathing in, feeling alive and awake. Breathing out, feeling muscles relaxing. Breathing in, positive vibes and confidence. Breathing out, fear and doubt. Breathing in through the nose. Breathing out through the mouth. Take one more slow breath in. And as you breathe out, flutter your eyes open. If you stayed for that, hopefully it brought you a little sense of calm in your day. Again, you can always go back to it. You can always maybe write it down. Let that be your own kind of meditation. Um, I really appreciate that Fortunately Inspired included that little guided meditation in this mailer that I received. I think that's an awesome element, something that we can all use whether we have our own businesses or not. And again, if this is the second time I'm signing off with you, thanks for staying on. Otherwise, have a fantastic day. I'll see you soon in my next unboxing.